Hello everyone, welcome to the second lecture in the series in which we are uh, making event booking app. In this video we will make onboarding screen. So before uh, the start of lecture, uh, if you are seeing this video first time then uh, uh, the Figma, uh, we have a Figma design uh, which uh, we are making uh, uh, for which we are using as a reference for design so um, this design uh, is uh, freely and open source and available and uh, you can the figma design link is given in the video description and the uh, code uh, so you can get the initial code of this lecture uh, in, uh, in the github repo which is also available in the video description and uh, the initial code will be on onboarding underscore initial branch and uh, the final code of this lecture will be on the onboarding underscore final branch so first of all let's see the uh, components which uh, are on this onboarding screen as we have already created this player screen and in this onboarding screen we have three uh, screens here actually uh, it's uh, a single screen but the content uh, wise these are three screens so in this uh, in this screen we have two major components the upper portion is an image container which have an image which have some kind of gradient vertically and uh, in the bottom we have a bottom uh, container which contains text and two buttons skip and next and three dots indicator so uh, first of all we will uh, create the bottom uh, container of this screen so let's jump into the code so here uh, event booking in presentation we will create another package named as onboarding and in this we will create a file named as onboarding screen and create another package components and in this components package we will create the uh, another uh, file for bottom container So COMP press tab and uh, bottom container and for the preview we will copy this control D and preview a theme surface and bottom container so here we have uh, uh, two texts which are uh, word so uh, uh, this bottom container has uh, content which is uh, in the uh, vertical form uh, so for that we will use a column modifier modifier width fill max and uh, the upper uh, corner of this uh, column is rounded so for that I will use clip rounded corner shape to start what is the roundness of this double click on it and it's mixed one so click on it and we have 48 48 on top left and 48 on top right
top start and top end actually okay and uh, the next is the uh, margin part we have uh, margin of uh, 40 on top and 40 on left and right it will, it will be 39 uh, showing 39 let's make it uh, symmetry and uh, put the 40 here so here we will put the padding actually I will take it to the top and padding from top it's 40 dp uh, from top it's 40 and from left and right it's 40 and from bottom it's 37 so let's put this one by one from top it's 40 and uh, from start is 40 and 40 and from bottom is 37 dp and uh, also need to change set the background color off to this uh, container so for that so for that we will see what is the color of this container this one copy it and go to our color file and see if this already exists well this doesn't exist so i will name it as uh, it feels like blue so uh, I will name it as blue one so the background color would be blue one okay so now the next part is we need to make this text so text and uh, we'll do this using string resources string dot what will be the exploring event I will copy this control C and paste it in here and format it format it like this in underscore form and hit alt enter and create a resource file and paste the text and remove the extra spaces from top from left and right of the text ok and uh, what is the size of this uh, Uh, size of this text is uh, uh, 22 and weight is medium and line height is 34 and the next thing is font family so we have airbnb serial carrier app or serial app okay so these are the uh, font files uh, you can find uh, them in the video description below so let's copy these them and uh, go to our uh, resources directory and create a new resource directory in here android resource directory and uh, select font from here and click ok and paste those files in here ok and the next thing is uh, create a new file in theme named as 
font and copy this font code you can also find this code in the video description below so copy this font code from here and paste it in here UI font and import so so this is it and uh, now come back to our onboarding screen bottom container okay so here our text need uh, android carrier app so we will set the font way to airbnb carrier font family actually it's uh, serial serial font family and uh, what error we are having in here okay we need to pass the string as a first argument so just like this so our Explains would be font family. Okay, so now our uh, text have been uh, according to our design. So just first uh, new few things we need to set the color of this text to white. So color white and uh, yeah this is it and the next is we need to uh, show the uh, second text which is uh, uh, below after 16 padding so for that we will use a spacer in here modifier height 16 dp and copy the same text from here and paste it in here and uh, this will be in publishing and graphic design yeah. all right and uh, airbnb career lab use book uh, we will consider it as a, a regular one so remove this uh, actually make it normal and uh, the text size is 15 and line height is 25 so text size is 15 and line height is 25 and color is white and uh, yeah that's it just now just need to copy this text control C in publishing and graphic design okay in publishing and graphic design alt enter and create string resource paste text in here remove space from end and start of text and ok and uh, the next is uh, we need to uh, put, uh, put the spacing of 43 dp so for that i will copy this uh, spacer from here and paste it in here 43 dp and in here we have uh, content in uh, uh, horizontal wise so for that we will use a row to show this uh, information so first of all we, we uh, make this uh, skip text in a row modifier
width fill max and uh, vertical arrangement should be centered vertically vertical alignment should be center vertically and here we will use the text string resource r dot string skip control enter and uh, what are the properties of this text and uh, this is a uh, airbnb font weight medium size text size to have uh, is 18 font family BNB serial app font size is 18 and line height is 34 and the color of this text is what is the color of this text uh, color of this text seems like what but it's not uh, white text actually it's a little bit dim let's see Okay, pass through the layer uh, property is 50% pass through so th th that is why it's showing a little bit of dim so we will uh, apply this pass through percentage to the, te the uh, color of this text so for that we will set color white copy of with 50% 50% and uh, we also need to make this skip button clickable so for that we will use modifier clickable yeah so this is it for this text and uh, same goes for the next one so we will copy this text from here and paste it in here just change the label which is next and change the color to original white with 100% opacity so these text has been created so in uh, between these text we need to make these three circles so here we will make these three circles and uh, what is the dimensions of this circle so this is the 8 by 8 size circle so for that we will use box and the size of this one would be 8 dp and uh, clip to circle shape and the background should be what is the color of this one yes is white color is white okay so we have made this circle so the next step is we need to create another circle with little bit of spacing between them and what is the spacing between them it's 8 dp so we have we will make a spacer with 8 dp width and uh, modifier paste this box in here and make this color little dim and what is the opacity of this one it's uh, a 20% pass through so we will apply this to the 
color copy 20 percent 0.20 f and uh, same will be same dimension will be goals for the the third one so we will copy this stuff control c and control v in here so we have our uh, third uh, circle in here as well so as we have uh, created uh, different components of this bottom container so let's see the preview of this one so for that we will already create the bottom container pre preview method in, in bottom container so just need to annotate it with the preview and switch to this split mode so here we can see our preview as we have uh, added different kind of resource files in our uh, drawables and resource string resources so we need to build and refresh it build and refresh build and refresh it okay so let's zoom out and see it's showing uh, not as expected so let's see what mistake we are doing in here first of all we will set the background bef after the padding so it so this background will consider this padding as a margin to it so cut this from here and paste it in here okay so now it's showing as uh, expertly just need just need little bit of uh, text alignment in here so first of all we will see the upper text this text is uh, horizontally centered so for that we need to uh, make this column content to the center so for that we will do we will set the property of this column which is a parent component of this bottom container horizontal center horizontally and uh, and still it's not centered this is because we need to make this text centered align in itself so align text align center same for the same for the bottom text align Okay, so the both these texts are uh, te center line so we need to make this skip at the uh, start the, to the, uh, on the left side of the screen and the next to the on the right side of the screen so for that we need and the door should be in centered so to achieve this we will uh, add a spacer before these three dots which would be spacer so uh, there are two approaches uh, so the first approach is we need to we, we can uh, wrap these three dots wrap these three dots in a, a, a row and uh, then apply a, a horizontal arrangement property to this row uh, so th in this way we can achieve this and the the second way which is uh, is the easiest one in my approach in my sense that which which one is that we will use a spacer before the three boxes so for spacer spacer modifier weight one 
one f and copy this and after put also put this after these three dots okay so this uh, three dots are now in centered so our let's zoom in and see is it close to our design so yes this is our design spacing on top and bottom left and right spacing from top and bottom left and right text alignment should be in centered and text itself should be centered as well and so yeah this is the bottom container which is uh, according to our uh, design showing in here so the next part is we will create this uh, image uh, container with the uh, vertical gradient in it and so let's see so so for that we will create an other uh, file in here named as image container so here we will create an uh, other compose function comp press tab and uh, image container and for the preview of this image we will select this can plus control D to duplicate it and uh, preview annotate it with preview and uh, app theme surface and image container so in this image container we only have this image this image so uh, let's first export this image double click on it and select the image from here this one and export it as a PNG and select Forex from here export it and also the second image Okay, select 4x from here. PNG is already selected and uh, export it. So this will be gone to our downloads directory, and uh, here we have this one extracted. this is the on IMG onboarding one cut this from here and paste it in here and uh, the second one is this file expect extract it AMG onboarding two. Cut this from here and uh, paste it in here. And the third image is this one. So double click on it. Select the image file from left side. actually we need the phone frame as well so I think the previous images are not as expected let's see this one is image only this one is also image only actually we have exported it wrong we need the frame 
with them as also so select the phone shape and uh, click on export and see the preview we have the phone here and click on it we have the phone frame and the image as well so now we need to export this one so this is the third uh, image so I will name it as IMG onboarding 3 to read these two images uh, to as uh, a file and image folder and ex export these images again with its uh, device frame so this one, this one and export it. This one is IMG onboarding two. and the uh, next one is the first image double click on it select on this phone device and see the preview in here it's showing perfectly with frame and picture so export it IMG onboarding one cut it from here and paste it in here delete these two extra things so these are the three images that we need for our onboarding so let's copy them and paste it in our drivers directory okay so these are in our drivers so the next thing is we need to see the dimensions of this one so how much space is this one is taking its uh, this uh, image container area is around uh, height of 375 what is the height of this one Hi 475 the height of this uh, area is 475 and uh, what is the height of this 288 and uh, what is the size of whole canvas so height of the canvas is 812 minus uh, height of this image container is minus 47 minus 475 so uh, how much percentage of uh, Okay. okay we don't have to look in to this in that way because uh, uh, when uh, we show our bottom container so after the bottom container the uh, whatever space which is available here will be occupied by this image container so for that we just only create the image container in here uh, actually uh, the image wait wait we need this we need this image uh, let's let's not put this uh, in, uh, because this is the image only so let's not put that in the separate file we directly put it into our uh, onboarding screen so for that we will uh, for onboarding screen we create another uh, component in here named as
onboarding content and onboarding content and duplicate it preview preview in here we will create a column in here in the max size and uh, here we will show the bottom container import it and let's see the preview of that uh, theme surface and uh, onboarding content so let's first see the preview of that then add the image component in here okay so we have the bottom container in here and we need to put this bottom container at the bottom of the screen so for that we will create a box in here modifier okay let's use the image we will use the image container Painter resource or drawable IMG onboarding one description now. and uh, now this image is taking the whole screen and the our uh, bottom container is not showing as, expect, ex, uh, as expected so for that we will um, use modifier wait 1f okay so now bottom container is showing as expected so just need to put some uh, make the arrangement of this image so this image should be horizontally centered and put some uh, spacing from the top and a left right as well so here we will use the make it uh, horizontal center horizontally and uh, spacing from top and left right for that we will set the spacing like padding from top how much from top do we need in here it would be 34 from top it would be 34 dp and uh, from start it would be 52 and 52 52 dp and 52 dp
okay so this is showing as uh, expected just need this uh, uh, image should be adjacent this image should be adjacent to uh, this uh, bottom container so um, le uh, let's uh, comment this start and end padding now it is adjacent to this uh, image go to this uh, bottom container and the next thing is we need to apply this gradient vertical gradient to this image so for that I haven't found any uh, easy way to uh, achieve this so I have achieved this uh, in this way draw content draw with content and here we will create a list of colors transparent and color white draw content and draw a, a rectangular on it brush would be brush vertical gradient and colors and blend mode blend mode test out and uh, the next thing is we need to uh, increase the number of uh, transparent colors to make it according to our design I don't know how this test out is uh, affecting this thing uh, but at the end of the day it's working one thing which I need to forget graphic layer alpha 0.00 minus okay so yeah this is now according to our actually this would be yes now this is uh, according to our design so the next thing is we have created the bottom container the image container and now we need to make the navigation flow in which we when we click on next then these three screens uh, will be navigate in our flow and then we will navigate to this sign screen